God, this eyebrow is out of control. Honestly, every time I talk, it's like, I think I need to get a bit of Botox to freeze that in place. Anyway. Hi, Valentine's Day is just around the corner, okay? And I feel like we're all gonna be celebrating it in different ways by Valentine's Day, Galatine's Day, Malatine's Day, or just a day of self-love. It's a day of love. It's an excuse to get glam, is how I see it. Whether you're going out, staying in, you've got company or you don't, um, I wanted to do a makeup look that we can all enjoy. This is the look, okay? I kind of put together all of my favorite things or how I kind of perceive Valentine's Day, right? Pink, sexy, a little bit smoky, feminine. They're the things that I want to feel anyway, so I wanted to kind of put that into a makeup look. However, this is the glam version. I mean, if you guys want to see something a bit more like soft glammy, a bit like prettier, you guys let me know, because I know not everybody wants to go, you know, this kind of intense. More than happy to do two versions, you guys let me know, but um, yeah, I wanted to, I just wanted to play with makeup, guys. I miss sitting down and just going crazy, I'm just having fun. So if you want to know how I did this makeup look, just keep watching. God, that sounds so 2016. How cute is this pink glitter glam? And I raided my drawers as well. Like I picked up products, guys, that you've seen maybe me use in the past and I haven't used for a long time. <coughs> Some new stuff as well. I'm really loving everything about this. I love you and let's get glam together. Starting as we always do with a little bit of hydration for the lips. This lip oil, game changer. The texture of this lip oil, I cannot describe it to you, but it's almost like I don't want to say jelly. It feels so smooth on the lips. It's so hydrating. Yeah, I've just been loving it. It's the Unicorn Cosmetics Bare Face Collection. It's part of their lip oils. Obviously. <laughs> They're new and each one is like a different colour and scented differently. This one is a Americano. Americano coffee. If you don't like coffee, I'm going to say you won't like this because it's pretty highly scented, but it's gorgeous. I could just keep applying this. That's the problem. Like, I just want this whole tub on my lips. <laughs> Definitely recommend these. Anyway, in this moment, right now, I don't actually know what kind of direction I want to take this down. I have a few ideas. I mean, you would have seen in the intro that I clearly figured my shit out. But right now, I'm a little bit stuck. I kind of think I want to do pinks, reds. I mean, it's Valentine's Day, right? Galentine's, Valentine's. That's the theme that I feel like makes sense, right? I do actually have this New Mood palette from... Why do I say it like that? New Mood. <laughs> this palette from Beauty Bay. I love Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes. I've been using them a lot recently. I just feel like their colour stories, the formulas is just 10-10. I think I want to keep it quite brown with the shadows and then maybe use the glitters in a different way, you know? There is also some pinks in here too. Brows are done. I have already concealed the lids as well, so we're prepped to go. Dipping into this dark brown shade here, and I'm gonna dip in a tiny bit into that pink, almost to create like a burgundy. Punch that onto the outer corner first. Yeah, I think that's the kind of color story I'm looking for. Continue to blend that round almost in a kind of C shape. Dip back in, and then kind of intensify that. This is gonna be our starting shade, and then we're gonna use some lighter colors to kind of buff that out. I think today I actually might wing this out a little bit. With whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna start to extend that C shape out slightly. Pulling that back to kind of the temple. I kind of want this to be really like winged out and like sexy, right? Now I'm working with this kind of shape. I think I'm actually gonna dip more into the pink. Same brush. Look at that shade. How beautiful is that? But do you see how it doesn't look as intense as it does like in the pan? Because obviously we've got leftover shadow on the brush, like leftover brown. It's all gonna kind of mix in and sort of dilute on the eye. Press that right in front of that brown. Keep building that up. Keep tapping it. Again, stick into this sort of C shape that we've got going on. Bring that around a little bit here as well. And then I wanna kind of merge that into the brown. You might have to dip back into that brown shade just to make sure that these two are blended. Dip into this shade. This is what I'm gonna use to start to diffuse this kind of top line out. Attempt to start making that gradient, just little circular motions, just buffing that out. For the lid, I'm gonna take this glitter here. This is from With Love Cosmetics. Can you see there's like chunkier bits in it? Fine glitter mixes with slightly chunkier bits. I think this is pink crushed diamonds or something. I'll pop it below. Pick some up on my finger. Like, look at that. This, I'm focusing more in the inner half of the eye. See how easy that is? That literally took me two seconds. Then I think I wanna take this shade here, which this is Mulberry, which is a beautiful kind of burgundy shade. Press that right next to that pink shade. Almost on top of the pink. So you can kind of get that like gradient. Do you know what? I'm gonna take a little bit of this pink shade here. Etch that around the glitter shades all the way up here, all the way around, just to kind of add a little bit more pink in terms of the shadow. In a corner especially, to add a little bit of shade there, and then I'm just gonna use this to kind of buff out here too. Just gonna clean this up with a wipe. I feel like cleaning up always gives you like such a better vision of the look, because <laughs> it just it just looks less messy. This shade right here is really cool. It's almost like a white pink reflex. For me, this needs to be pressed right in. Mm, got a little bit messy. I just want that right in that inner corner to kind of pop. Gonna pull it slightly into that glitter shade as well. 
just so you kind of get that whole like blend i'm hoping on camera you can really see that shade it's so cool it's like just like a camera thank you <laughs> super icy pinky Ugh, it's like a dream guys i'm just putting through here some of that sort of like dark kind of brown pink mix this shade and this shade just because i felt like it was kind of light to dark and i kind of wanted it to feel a bit more kind of through as one thing no idea if that makes sense but it does to me okay <laughs> this is one of those looks because i didn't know 100 percent what i'm doing i'm kind of just like feeling as i go every step i do i can kind of see what i feel like's missing you know so just kind of bear with me i think it's time for some lashes i'm actually going to go in with these ones from lulu bells these are lh02 they're almost like i want to say a half lash more like a three quarter lash but can you see how fluffy they are they're gorge they're fluffy to kind of fit in with the drama of the look but they're not too much that they're just going to be too overwhelming so obviously we've got quite a dark outer corner with some looks if you end up putting something super thick on the outer corner it just almost gets lost and looks a little bit too much let's have a look this lash glue right now is my favorite it's the am to pm from dosa lashes really nice and strong and my eyes haven't reacted to it i don't know if it's latex 3 but my eyes seem to be fine with it either way cool thing about these lashes i haven't had to trim them they're just gonna be able to go straight on i do need to quickly put on a tickle of mascara this is the maybelline sky high yeah they're so cute. <laughs> the perfect shape as well. They're kind of winged with the look. Okay, right, cool. I think that's pretty much it for the eyes. I will finish up underneath once I've done the skin. You guys know my routine. That's just how I like to do so I can get all up in there with the concealer and then we can kind of finish that off afterwards. But I'm going to hop off camera and do the other eye and then yeah, we can do skin. I think this is cute though. I'll be back. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I think that's about as even as we're gonna get. It's one of those days, guys. You know the day, okay? But it takes about 12 years to try and get them somewhat even, and even then, they're not even. And then you keep adding in hopes that, like, that will fix it. But in the end, it just looks more wonkier, and you just have to deal with it. Anyway, we're on to skin, and I'm gonna start with this Nip and Fab Hyaluronic Fix Extreme Concentrate. This stuff, you guys, oh, quick, is so nice. Super, super hydrating, and then once it's kind of buffed into the skin, it has a little bit of tack to it as well. So you can imagine, underneath makeup, it also makes a good primer, as well as skincare, which is always nice. It's a little thick in texture, but it's more kind of wet. Feels super, super hydrating. This is actually one of my favorite ranges from Nip and Fab, because there is hyaluronic acid in here, but there's actually something else in here, which holds four times more hydration hydration then hyaluronic acid as well this is a drink in a bottle for your skin like my skin is just quenched with this i have oily skin and i love this but i can imagine if you have dry skin this is going to be your best friend lightweight not heavy the best you said i like it yeah <laughs> just going to give that a second to kind of dry down and sink into the skin once that has i'm going to go in with my glowish by huda beauty this is the blur jam it's a silicone free pore primer i love this stuff for the pores it's such an interesting texture but i feel like immediately you can see kind of how smoothing it is i know it looks a bit more matte it's not dry or anything like that but that kind of matte effect is going to be what helps to fill in those pores pick a little up and then i just work it into the t-zone look at the texture how interesting is that it's its own kind of lane i don't know how to describe that check so i guess a jam is kind of a good way it's like a dry jam i don't know it's great should we do a bit of glow i feel like we should i've not used this in ages it's the nyx high glass face primer what shade is this in sandy glow i know it looks a little bit dark but i guess one of those products that once it's kind of blended out it's fine buff that into the skin it's kind of sheer in terms of color once you buff it out and under foundation anyway it doesn't matter if it's not exact but look at that how nice is that i think i've just been hooked onto my elf halo glow and stuff that when i get hooked on something especially with makeup i will use the shit out of it <laughs> until something new comes along or until i kind of explore back in my drawers i will um just continue to keep using something but this kind of gives me that same you know kind of vibe as like your elf halo glow your collection filter finish charlotte tilbs kind of looks crazy on camera i promise it doesn't in real life <laughs> you know what today i feel like switching up the makeup right Too Faced born this way it's been a long time since i've used this i used to be obsessed with this stuff i can remember it being quite skin like but like covering well. This is the shade Golden Beige. I feel like this is the one I used to use. Give it a good shake because it's been a while. Oh, that's liquidy other than I remember. I'm gonna use a flat top foundation brush to blend this in. This is from Miss Laura Lee. The aesthetic of these brushes, give me 12. <laughs> super, super soft as well, what I mean. Look at that. Now, I didn't want to use a sponge because the sponge obviously holds a bit of moisture and I feel like where we've got that NYX kind of glow underneath and it's quite intense. I don't know. I didn't want it to be or feel kind of super wet. I kind of wanted to keep the coverage because I feel like a brush obviously absorbs less. By the way, sorry if the lighting is a little bit all over the place. I'm kind of like going between setups at the moment. I kind of don't know what I want. Normally I'd film at my desk, you know, of that like wooden thing on the background it's the one you see in my tiktoks a lot and that's great but i don't know part of me kind of wants to like kick it back to old school and have like a backdrop you know when you're in between ideas at the moment so i feel like i'm just filming 
wherever right now. <laughs> By the way, I'm just gonna take a tiny bit more and just build that up. I know a lot of you prefer having more kind of like homey looking backgrounds and I still will do that for my other videos, but part of me kind of wants for makeup videos more of like just a clean backdrop. For my hauls and my home content, I'm still thinking of keeping, you know, the backgrounds, whether that be my wardrobe or my living room or like wherever. As a person, I'm just so indecisive and that's part of the issue. <laughs> I genuinely forgot how nice that foundation is. Like the finish, the coverage. See what I mean by it looks skin-like, but you've got the coverage still. It's so beautiful. For concealer, I'm thinking of using the Born This Way concealer too. Like a, just a little Born This Way combo. Who remembers when I used to literally be obsessed with this concealer? Like before Huda come along in the HMB, this was my shit. It was just my favorite concealer ever. I haven't used this in so long. Um, oh my God, I'm, am I gonna fall back in love again? <laughs> this is the shade Porcelain, by the way. I need to get a couple of new shades of this. This one I found chilling in my drawer. Making sure I've got that concealer down the sides of the nose because I kind of like to help pinch my nose contour with that in the center to highlight and then obviously underneath the eyes to cover these designer bags. <laughs> Blend this out with my little Real Techniques kit and pore brush and then I'll probably hit it with a sponge just to make sure that everything is blended. I do love how this brush is shaped though because you've got that really fine tip at the top I can kind of get right underneath the eye because you've got that kind of flat edge you can get right up against the nose too it is great. Concealer's looking good. Not that it's new to me, but it's been so long since I used it. I kind of forgot, I don't know, I've just been using everything else that I've kind of just forgot how beautiful that is. we now I remember why I loved it. That is the reason. <laughs> Still obsessed with this for cream contour, guys. It's the Beauty Pop, Beauty Pop? No, it's not. Beauty Crop Juice Pop Bronze. Um, This is in the shade Almond. I just love it. I love the texture of it. It's kind of like a liquid in a pot. Really nice and pigmented though, but it blends so easily on the skin and you don't have to be too shy with it because it does kind of melt into the complexion as you blend it. So it's not scary or anything like that. The only place I don't put this is my nose because I do like to use more of a matte cream on the nose. I'm an oily gal. You get it. Tap that in and you'll see how easy it just melts into the skin. It's so, so effortless and it just bronzes up the skin. Look at that. So good. I love the finish of it too. It's like, I don't know, it's not matte. It has a little bit of a glow to it, but it's not like wet looking either. For the nose, I'm going to use my Primark stick, which thank God I've got backups because look at the state of that. I'm going to let that chill there while I do um, blush and stuff. See, now this is my favorite thing about doing pinks and stuff on the eye is you can really blush up the skin. I mean, I blush up the skin with every look. I love a pink cheek, so I'm in my element right now. Taking another Beauty Crop product. This is the Amelia Olivia X Beauty Crop Glow Milk Blushed in the shade Pink Pineapple. How cute. First thing I'm going to say is this shit is pigmented. You need the smallest amount, okay? Oh, I think I need to give that a shake. That. I mean, that's probably too much. It's nice to be that pigmented though, because you only need a small amount. This is going to last you a really long time. Swirl my brush into that. Get that nice and coated. See the pigment? Tap it in. Make sure it's evenly distributed on the brush as well so you get a nice even application. Gentle taps onto the skin to build up that product. I'm going pretty heavy with it. You can use a small amount and keep it sheer. Like it's, it is like doable. I like to take it right back to the temple as well and kind of bring it underneath that eye. I also like to take some blush here between the brows like on the nose and on the tip hold up let's get this blended before we um before we set this to match the pinkness of this look i'm gonna take my jordana t-shirt powder this is the set and brighten powder in the shade flossy so you get a pressed on top and a loose underneath i'm just gonna stick to the press today guys look at these trig wells you know i love my trig well puff well look they come out of limited edition pink ones for V-Day. How cute is that? There's even a baby one as well. How amazing. I think it's only fitting that we use them today, right? Straight into the under eye. I'm going to press that down the sides of the nose first and then I'm going to start to bring that onto the under eye. Look at that under eye. Sensational. So smoothing and obviously where it's got that kind of pinky undertone, it starts to kind of buff that blush into the under eye a little bit more. If you want a pink powder, like one that actually kind of shows pink as well, this is your girl. My Huda Beauty is still one of my absolute favorite setting powders ever to exist, but it's not as pink as this. This definitely has more kind of pinky tone pigments in it. It's like that brighter, brightening pinkiness. When I want that for my look, this is a go-to. Oh, it's just so good. I don't know what they put in this powder to make this so smoothing. 
but it just finishes off my skin beautifully. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the chin and a little bit in the center of the forehead just to balance. These powders, I just did a review on TikTok of these. These are the brand new Maybelline Superstay Hybrid Powder Foundations. I have two shades. This is 03, which is the brighter one, and then I also have 40. So I'm gonna take a little bit of 03 first. These are no joke, okay? The pigment that comes from this powder is just crazy. Now, I used it in that TikTok video kind of as the foundation, just so people could see how it performs, but I personally like a powder foundation over skin, over my makeup. Does that make sense? <laughs> I've just been loving this. So a little bit, I say, hmm, I'm gonna pop that off. I'm just gonna press this right into that inner corner. You see that? Just kind of brightens it up. I don't wanna drag this down too much into the pink because I still wanna keep that pinky under eye, but just in the inner corner, it kind of makes the eye makeup pop a little bit more too. I also took it kind of down the side to the nose here just to help that snatch in, you see that? It all just ties in together. Now I'm using the darker shade and I'm gonna use this just to set the rest of the skin. Well, everywhere except my bronzer and my blush. See how smooth it looks? Yeah, this and this as well. I think they're gonna creep back into my makeup. <laughs> Powder bronzer, I'm gonna take my Made by Mitchell Blush Pressed. This is in Ain't It Almond. I go between this and Cheeky. Cheeky has a little bit more of like a, I don't wanna say cool toned undertone, but like almost, you know, it's like a bit more neutral than this. These though guys, beware because these are so pigmented. You do just need the small amount. I mean, they're super, super blendable. So if you do go a little bit heavy handed, like it's not a big deal. You can definitely kind of fix it, but they are super, super pigmented. I always like to start by pressing the powders into the skin. And then once we've kind of set those liquids underneath, we can kind of, um, kind of buff. That way we don't disturb any of the cream liquid products underneath. And it's just a bit more of a, seamless blend of it on the nose. I'm also gonna take a little bit on the chin. Yes, I'm taking another Made by Mitchell product. <laughs> How perfect will this be? This is Milkshake. I kind of want something a bit paler just to kind of buff, you know, above that liquid blush into that under eye just to get that kind of more seamless blend. Keep this up nice and high. Can you see I'm kind of almost pressing it into the under eye? I'm gonna kind of feather that onto the apple of the cheek into the under eye as well. Blush like this really helps to just tie everything together. It's like the perfect baby pink. Not only is this perfect for this look, but honestly, this is one of my favorite like blush colors ever. Mm, can you see better now? I just brightened it up a little bit. I felt like it was quite dark. Sorry about that. I think today I want to put a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to take Candy Trip Blush from Made by Mitchell. God, you think I'm sponsored, wouldn't you? <laughs> take that on the back of the hand, guys. I'm just literally trying to scrape out what I have left. I love this stuff. Such a beautiful baby pink really really gently just pop that back here just so when you turn your head angles and stuff you get hit with that cute it's just like a little a little glow you know before i finish up the eyes i think i'm gonna do lips just so i can kind of see where we're at right now i don't know how dark i want to go like whether i just want to leave it like this whether i want to just put mascara do i want to go dark let's just start there you know i do have this um lipstick oh this is new from um unicorn cosmetics so like maybe that would be a cute color let's see i'm gonna start lining my lips with the p louise lip liner in the shade coco cloud just gonna fill in the lips a little bit as well just like round the border okay i love 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 the formula of that it's like a mousse but look how velvety and smooth they make your lips look that's cute I feel like it needs to be a little bit lighter. Yeah, much better. I don't think I want anything too heavy underneath the eye because the top's quite heavy. I don't want to drag that down too much. I do want a little bit of smokiness though. So I'm just going to take a black coal um, pencil and just put that into the waterline. This one's from Kylie Cosmetics. See that? It's like smoked it out and kind of tied it together, but it's not too much. Do I want to do bottom lash mascara? This is what I mean by indecisive. Stresses me out, okay? If I do end up adding it, it's gonna be the MAC Extended Play Giga Backlash. Of course, this is my favorite bottom lash mascara. It's the only one I'll use. I feel like I need a minute to decide, but I am gonna quickly use my misguided brow you doing brow pen. Just add in a couple of um, my little moles that I like to do. My setting spray's next door. I'm gonna use MDK All Nighter to really lock this in, because obviously we don't want this to go anywhere. You never know what we could get up to. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. My battery's flashing, so I'm gonna go. Switch it out so I can do the intro and stuff, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I did it, I added bottom lash mascara. <laughs> we are done, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Like I said in the intro, if you wanna see something a bit softer, we could still incorporate kind of like a bit of smokiness and a bit of pink, maybe in a more softer way. You guys let me know and I'm more than happy to do that before the big day. Hope you love this. Um, oh, glitter just makes everything better, doesn't it? Are we doing makeup again? I mean, we always do, but I'm talking like makeup, makeup. I fucking hope so. Stick around for the ride. <laughs>